As the health care leader of the Tri-Parish community, Terrebonne General Medical Center is a nationally recognized facility providing state-of-the-art technology and advanced services. Terrebonne General compassionately provides the most services responding to the greatest needs for our community. And as promised, Dr. Craig Walker is on the set tonight. And Doc, uh, good to see you again. Always good to see you. Thank you, Martin. Same here. Uh, we're going to talk about critical limb ischemia, and I've heard you talk about that quite a bit over several years, and it should really become an advanced technique, which uh, things to do that y'all fix all that with. But uh, first of all, what is it? Explain sure. to the people what it is. Critical limb uh, ischemia is the leading cause of amputation in the United States and actually throughout the whole world. It's estimated that about one and a half to two million Americans will have critical limb ischemia. So it's a huge problem that's growing. It seems to be most closely related to advanced age, diabetes, both of which are, are increasing in America, and cigarette smoking. But certainly it can be out, outside of those areas as well. And it's typically manifested by one of of three symptom complexes. Either A, a person has true rest pain, mm -hmm. or B, they have ischemic ulceration, or C, they have early gangrenous or late gangrenous changes. Mm -hmm. Any of those things, we know that if a person doesn't get appropriate treatment, that they're headed for major amputation. And with a major amputation at the best places in the world, a major amputation below the knee carries a five to 8% 30-day mortality above mm -hmm. the knee, 8 to 12 percent 30-day mortality. Uh, fully a third of those patients go straight from the hospital to a nursing home at very big expense. And so it, it's certainly something we want to avoid if we can. Another way that some people look at critical limb ischemia is the pressures in your feet. Uh, if they're less than 40 percent of the blood pressure as it comes out of the heart, then you're just simply not getting enough blood flow to the legs and they're in jeopardy of dying. Well. The big who factor, who is at risk for all of this? Certainly the elderly, mm -hmm. absolutely diabetics, and then smokers, of course, in, in that range. And m most of the time, these folks start off having cramping leg pains when they walk, and then they go on to uh, develop, as I said before, rest pain. True ischemic rest pain is pain that hurts. And uh, when they put the legs down, because gravity helps to get a little blood down, the pain may actually be slightly relieved. But with any movement, the leg starts to hurt again, uh, or uh, ischemic ulceration, or these gangrenous changes. When these things occur, if one doesn't do something about them, then you're headed for major amputation. And, mm -hmm. and as I said before, that's a big deal. It's more than just that you lose your uh, limb. Many of these people lose their lives, and so it's very important we intervene on this early. Any risk factors that go along with everything that you do? Um, you mean which patients are yeah, at risk? Right. Yeah. Again, as I said, advanced age, okay. diabetes, both of which are going up dramatically, um, cigarette smoking, huge problem, yeah. particularly, it seems, in women. Women start off with smaller vessels. Um, mm -hmm. Cigarette smoking really seems to affect them worse, particularly women who are on birth control pills and smoke. And so that seems to be a big risk as well. All right. We'll take a break. We'll come back. We'll hear from TGMC on the break. And then... We'll come back more with Dr. Walker. Don't go away. <laughs> 